And the Stockdale Building Society Employee of the Year Award goes to Michelle Thompson. <laughs> what? The? Michelle? Sorry, I misread the signals. <laughs> Give yourself up. You are a golden flower, afloat on a river of creamy silence. A shining feather adrift in a daydream sky. Release yourself to the honeysuckle waterfall that is love. Awesome. <laughs> Anna, your question of each. <laughs> Where is the homeland of Sean Connery? It's shaken not stirred. Hastra, Anna, Hastra. Untouchable. Ireland. Finelo Ansarovic? Da, da, Ireland. Das Ansarovic correct of Nia East? Scotland. Join it. A provia breco. What's about this, son? This hotel's got its own putting group. Come on, you two. We don't want to be late for dinner. Fooled son was obviously a dummy. My dear. Uh, right enough. She was a dummy. Oh, yes, sir. That was a dummy, all right. Fine. <laughs> and there's your special shampoo. It's exactly the same stuff as you get in the chemist, but it's twice the price. But then you do look like a little cow. Sorry? Say that out loud. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, hello. Listen, I know this is really cheeky, but could I just jump you? Sorry? In the queue. Can I just go in front of you? Well, I'm in a wee bit of a rush. Oh, please. 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 <laughs> Go on then. You're a star. <laughs> like, you will not believe what happened this morning. My so-called mother made me go to the dentist. I could have died, man. Was it, like, totally painful? Like, yeah. They made me wear a white smock. <gasps> I know. Next time I'm going to take my own black one. Yeah. <laughs> now on BBC Scotland, let's travel back to 1959 as we take another journey up your moor. Oh, no, no, 
stir again. <laughs> that stir's no for you. It's for the six wains. <laughs> Who's that? What does he want? He'll be wanting his tea. If he doesn't get his muckle bit broad, they'll be up to high fiddly died oh. And we'll be straight to hell on my elke. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Have you still got that deed rat that you fun in the bins? Aye, but I was saving none for Christmas. Geezer, I'll bail it up and make a broth. I was wondering if I might abuse my power to impose myself upon you for my tea. <sighs> Certainly, Minister. A nice meaty broth, do ye? <laughs> oh, no, 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 Senga. Haven't you heard? I'm Scotland's first vegetarian. <laughs> Up ya, ma! <laughs> to some, this humble stick of celery is a work of art. Others love to lose themselves in the veiny marvels of a cabbage. But I'm Jenny Claxon and this is Souped Up Soup. So, follow me to the saucy broth house. Huh? Torture that turnip, crush that carrot, pulverise that pumpkin. It's time to break some artichoke hearts. We're mixing, we're stirring, we're straining. Get stuck into a beefy oxtail or swallow hard on a rough maggot hole. It's hot, it's strong, it's steamy. <laughs> These competitions are marvellous. Very rarely one has the opportunity to meet the junior members. It's wonderful that the barriers between the junior and the senior members are lowered a little, so we can get to know each other better. I'd love to write her. <laughs> good day to you, Miss Lacey. For some, it is a good day. For I, no. I am melancholy. No suitor has called upon my father to inquire of the possibility of walking out with me. Perhaps I have the solution to your melancholic episode, Miss Lacey. Pray tell, sir. I have recently returned from the Orient and the business of Her Majesty. It is a place of mystical treasure. And have you any of these treasures about you, sir? Indeed I do, Miss Lacey. A medicinal draught known in China as opium. May I present the toking pipe? <laughs> <laughs> My head is like a carousel spinning merrily round and round. Sir, I trust I will not take a whitey. It is <laughs> that opium stimulates the libido. Does your libido feel stimulated, Miss Lacey? Most richly, Mr. Masterton. My leg, I fear, I could bite off. <laughs> Let us hasten to the old boathouse. I have a powerful desire to rest my ankles in the rollocks. Yes? My pleasure, Miss Lacey. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> QXLFKFM. What's up? What is up? What's up? What is up? It's us, by the way. Gavin Healy, QXLFKFM's bonkers crew here with the traffic and weather. <laughs> Whoa! Are you making a wee bonkers noise? Sure, I'm gap because tonight there's gonna be mad thunder everywhere. Mad thunder like the bonkers thundercats. Mad. Do you remember the thundercats, Haley? Lino and Chitera and Tigra and Panthro. 
Mad. And oh, Snarf, he was a really cute wee bonkers thunder guy. Mad, but it was as cute as bike puss. Your bike puss bonkers you. Her. That is bonkers. <laughs> That's mad. That is bonkers. That is mad. How's the traffic and weather? Meow. <laughs> You know, sometimes I wonder if life is a disease and the cure for life is death. <laughs> That'd be a scunner, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hello there, Doctor. I'm not feeling too well. What's your diagnosis? Well, Mrs McFadden, I'm afraid to tell you that you're suffering from a severe case of living. Oh, and is there any cure for that affliction, Doctor? Aye, there is, Mrs McFadden. I went and die. <laughs> Not very inspiring, is it? Mind you, the last GP I had committed sideways, so that's got to be the ultimate case of doctor, doctor, cure thyself, eh? <laughs> What's it the Buddhists say again? All life is suffering. Aye, I certainly agreed with that notion when I was watching Home and Away the other day. <laughs> Although, with that Aussie trash in mind, maybe all life is surfing. You jump on the board, you get into the waves, you fall off, you get back on, and you ride out the big scary bastards as best you can. <laughs> but inevitably, we all succumb to that watery end. Which is why you need to keep your bathroom cabinet well stocked with suppositories. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, she's quite a catch, eh? <laughs> hey, I'd love to reel her in. <laughs> <laughs> I'd stick more than a hook in her mouth. <laughs> Here, I'd let her get hold of my rod. <laughs> I'd love her to go fishing in my flies. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hi. Uh. <laughs> Lovely bit of trout. <laughs> David. 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 Jane. Oh. Jane, what is it, Jane? Oh, David. I dreamt we were having sex. Really? Yes. How horrid. I'll go and make up the bed in the spare room. Yes. <laughs> Whoever it was had the idea for a Christian version of Trivial Pursuits should be saint it. Oh, aye. Come on, roll the dice as if you were rolling a big stain away from the mouth of your sacred cave. <laughs> oh, here. That's two sixes in a row, Pauline. Better not get another one or we'll all think you're possessed. <laughs> Don't say that, Liz. <laughs> now, I'll take scriptures. OK. Who ordered John the Baptist's decapitation? What's that mean? Well, who ordered for him to get his head cut off? Mind, she wanted it served up on a plate. Oh, I know. Oh, I think I know this, um... Was it salami? <laughs> Aye, that's close enough, then. There's your fish. Oh, wait a minute. Salami? You're not going to give her a fish for thinking that John the Baptist was killed by an Italian sausage, are you? <laughs> it was salome. Oh, waste, Liz. Salami, salome. It doesn't matter. There you go, hen. There's your fish. Oh, no, no. I'll not take it. I'll not deceive others in the eyes of our Lord. Mm. Well, that makes it your turn, then, King Solomon. <laughs> I'll take one on celebrity Christians. Which famous Jesus-loving singer was born Harry Webb? Elton John. Uh, how do I pet? Let's know your goal. Sir Cliff Richard. Is the right answer. As you filled your basket now with two fishes and five loaves, you've won. Oh, what happens now? You feed the 5,000, then you go to heaven. You've been saved. Hallelujah, I've yeah. been saved. <laughs> well played, Liz. Mine and send us a postcard for the spirit world. Let us know what's up for us. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Aye, that's if you get saved, you know. Eh? Eh? I'm only kidding you. Oh, we'll yes. all get oh, saved. <laughs> we'll all be going together. Bind us together, love. Bind us together with hearts that cannot be 
<laughs> Tonight at 11, how professionals make love. This week, the cricketer. How's that? How's that? How's that? How's that? How's that? You are a beautiful flower. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, get lovely long leaves. They're lovely. <laughs> lovely. Mm, my precious baby. You're so easy to love with your shape and your colour and your petals. So delicate, still strong and fleshy. <laughs> <laughs> You get a cold, Wendy? Mm. Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> My dad would have been happy you came. He had a good innings. Hey, Hen, let's go. That's the most. Right, folks, it's all over. <laughs> So, uh, how you doing, Dylan? Still a bit sore. Yeah, well, you're bound to be. You've just given birth. It's quite a thing you go through. Mm-hmm. Have they, uh, mentioned anything about when you can... when we can... <laughs> what? When we can make love again? Well, the doctor said it'd be about two or three weeks, but he also said I might go off sex. Ah, oh, well, you try and get some rest. The important thing is that you try and get your strength back. <laughs> See you later, darling. You're not going to sit you out of the bed? Oh, aye. Sure. Bye-bye, darling. Yeah, we nookie ruining bastard. <laughs> Limited edition prime mid 80s concept nonsense. These are the the. The the the. The the the. These are them themselves. You got any of them? I stock the them also. The who? And indeed the who. Did you say you too? I think not. We ain't beat it to your mega store. <laughs> Have we decided? Uh, what are the specials? Can I recommend the orphaned pork? A medallion of the finest pork taken from the finest cut of a swine whose parents were ritually slaughtered in front of its very eyes in a small farm. We find that the deep sense of loss and delayed shock confuses the meat cessa. <laughs> or perhaps Madame would prefer the bastard triple chicken. <laughs> the chicken is raised deliberately out of wedlock and fed on the carcass of another chicken, which itself was fed on the carcass of another chicken, served with illegitimate carrots and sweet potatoes of dubious parentage on a duvet of uncouth couscous. I'm not really terribly keen on chicken. Can I recommend the gay shark? What's that? It's a gay shark <laughs> on a nest of mash. Well, two gay sharks then, please. Yes, the gay shark, please. A wise choice. But first, an appetizer. Transsexual trout. Little boy trout surgically altered to become little girl trout. Bon appetit. Interpretations of dreams. If you dream of a bridge, you will cough.
Cheerio, cheerio, cheerio. Cheerio, get it. Excuse me. Excuse me, can I buy a fag off you? Please. I wish I had a your fish away. <laughs> Where's my Easter kiss, eh? Huh? Eh? Going to get us a lift in the taxi, right? Oh, wait, wait, my chips! I'm going to call my The green one, Mrs. Cuffmella. Hey, dear girl, the, the green ones are full of potato nutrients, eh? That's coming out of your wages. And don't think I forgot about that uh, fritter you gave our dog last week. That's coming out of your wages, or not? <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, plenty of milk, sweetheart. Ugh. Dear girl, how many times you to be told you take a milk from the back of the fridge? Nice dog. This isn't working out today, girl. You're fired. Sacked, don't you go? But I was saving up for my big sister's birthday. Get your under eye corn and go! <laughs> Hiya. Can I have a king rib silver, please? Girl, where are you going? Get back here, wrap up man's king rib. <laughs> <laughs> Salt vinegar. <laughs> Caroline. Paul? Good to finally meet you. Have you been waiting long? No, it's fine. Well, I'm sorry I'm late. I was drowning some puppies. Up. I shouldn't have. Robert, you're throwing toast on the floor. But watch. <laughs> Sorry. David, you're stiff. You're stiff. I can feel it rubbing against me. Good God. I'm so sorry, Jane. I'll go and take Rufus for a toddle around the garden, get some fresh air. That usually does the trick. I'll make up the bed in the spare room. Yes, that's probably the best idea. <laughs> All set, Jennifer. I don't know, Mr. Wilkie. I'm a bit nervous. Oh, yes. Well, I'm sure as long as you've done your revision thoroughly, you'll sail through with flying colours. I don't think I'll pass. I'm not that clever. I'm not as clever as you, anyway. Oh, come now, Jennifer. I think you're being a bit hard on yourself. Yeah, but you're a clevery, clogsy brain box. 
Yes, well, Jennifer, I have been teaching for a number of years now. Could you do it for me? What? Could you sit my exam for me? Huh. That would be awesome. <laughs> I don't think so. Please. 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 